important, and I hope you'll tune in. So it's un- it, it was unclear up until about an hour and a half ago or so whether or not the guy who bribed people with gift cards to donate to his campaign so he would actually qualify to be on the stage, Doug Burgum, former governor, whether or not he would actually be able to participate. Because apparently, and look up his age, I want to say he's in his mid-60s, uh, he should not have decided to play a pickup basketball game with his staff last night. Is that what he did? Yeah. Wow, I hurt my knee playing pickup basketball. Yeah, and he's 67. Yeah, so he's 67. He ends up hurting. They just said his leg. I'm assuming that means his knee or his ankle. <laughs> That's the only thing. Could be hip. May, he is really old. Yeah, but they said leg. When you say hip, I guess a hip's part of the leg. Uh, yeah, I guess. I feel like when we're talking about basketball or any sport and we say there's a leg injury, it's especially here's the hint. They said that he might not be able to do the debate because he might not be able to stand at a podium for two hours. And I was just devastated by this news. That to me means knee or ankle because it's not like a hamstring being pulled. You can stand with a hamstring injury. Yeah, I guess. You can't walk around and I mean, run around. Give him a something to sit on? No, you can't. One it's of these for tall standing. Chi- it's standing. And he did just come out about 90 minutes ago. His team said he will participate. And so for those of you who are listening on the radio for the debate, this is what I want you to hear. At any point during the debate, if this is what you hear, he fell over. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to be waiting for. He's just like, you can't do it anymore. And then just. there The louder version, I think, worked better. Falls right the, over. Theater well, of the mind. You know, theater of the mind. A, I'm just grabbing antacids. I'm assuming that. <laughs> This belongs to Brian Suits, who left him in here. So uh, that would have been huge if he wasn't able to participate. And I lead with that only in the sense that tonight, there's a lot on the line for most of these candidates. I, I was listening, actually, to Brian this morning, and he was pointing out that in a lot of ways, a debate can't make a candidate but can definitely break one. And for the most part, I agree with that. I would say, though, when someone, quote unquote, breaks, you're helping the other person who's on the stage or the other people with you. But point taken, and I think it's very much a valid observation. But when you have these kinds of high caliber candidates, for the most part, all competing against the big dog who's not going to be there. Well, then there is a lot on the line because just like that, you can create some momentum. You can be, if you're Ron DeSantis, who I would argue has the most to gain tonight and the most to lose, you know, if he has a great performance and we've never seen him tested at a national debate level, right? We've seen him at the debate stage in Florida, but it's different when you're talking directly to residents of your state versus the entire country. The messaging is going to be different, although he's going to, of course, want to highlight his successes. But the issue he's going to have is can he create enough momentum to end the narrative that his campaign is struggling? 